I've already started, so we're running. <laughs> I'm a lady. It's the problem now. Oh. Now you get an environmental wash day in the street. Yes. <laughs> wow, walk it out. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh. You need to be a big ass like a tighty. Baby, 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 baby. I said power belongs to the people. Power belongs to us. Yesterday, I had help to get my hair taken out, which was so helpful because what? It took six hours to do, and my hair is long. If you don't know, if, you, if you're new here, my hair is long, it goes down here. And I just knew that it was gonna take a long time. I couldn't cut it to get a, a, a head start or to make the process shorter. So I had help, I had two people helping me. It was just such a blessing. I'm so shocked that it took three hours to take out with two people. So can you imagine if I was the one doing it myself? I would have shaved my head off because of a lack of patience. Because what? Why would it take me that long, you know? So I, I just did my devotion. I have to be honest. It's been a long time since I've done it. Especially with it being summer. I've just been getting up and going. I just get up and go. I have so many things I want to do, need to do, that I just get up and go. And then I'm like, wow, I haven't done my devotional just reviewed it, looked at it, thought about it, and I haven't read my book in a long time. I mean, it, this is obnoxious. My habits have changed and it's not a good thing. So today I'm back. It's like it's like working out or dieting. I just gotta dip my toe into it one time and then I'll get back on the bandwagon versus being like, I'm gonna go hard and do all of this. The, the goal needs to be realistic. And for me, it's like, okay, let me just do it today. Even though it's almost 10 o'clock, let me just do it today so that at least I've done something and then I've gotten my toe dipped in. I'm back into the grind of it or back into the routine of it. And then I will work on making sure that I'm doing this every day because it doesn't take a long time. It's just that by the time that I get up, I have so many things on mind that I'm like, let me go do all those things. And then I don't, and I'll be like, I'll do that later. And I don't get to it. It's like, what? That later just never comes. So there's that. And if you're wondering, this is the pajama set that I wore when my friends came to visit back in January. It's Amazon set and I love it. So here's my iPad and I've been doing the Bible app. Years ago, I would get the books. Like I had one from Joyce Meyer that I liked. I forget the name of it. It's a green one. It was really good. But because I have an iPad and I love just having everything digitally, you know, I got rid of all my books. I mean, I, I don't know, I might have one or two of you for me, but I got rid of all of them and I just like things to be digital. So when I think of a devotional, I don't have a book that I purchased. I just been doing the Bible app or... Let's see, a while ago, I feel like I did download something, but it's been so long, I don't even know what's what, honey. Let's take a look. In the book app, the iBook app, is that what you call it? This is what it looks like on the home page. I don't know about you, but this actually excites me. Seeing books, it just excites me. Seeing books excites me. It makes me want to read. The issue is, have I done it? You feel me? There's so many. There's, oh, this one I need to read. Raising Cain, Protecting the Emotional Life of Boys. I have one called The Manager's Handbook. Okay, I've got one called It's Not You, Nothing's Missing, Think and Grow Rich, The Garden Within, Leaders Eat Last, Daring Greatly, Quiet, Think Again, David and Goliath, The Power of Habit, Outliers, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a and then Set Boundaries, Find Peace. And I haven't even looked in here to bookmark anymore. That's just a start. So when I think about this, it's like, yo, what's the point of, it's like someone who buys books and don't read them. Like, are you kidding? You need to figure this out. So currently reading, I already finished, We Should All Be Millionaires. I finished that last year. Power Moves. I'm supposed to be reading Power Moves. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because I finished All Hope Is Found, Sarah Jace Roberts, when I went to the conference last year. I finished that already and then I purchased Power Moves. Yes, that's the one I've been reading. <laughs> been reading. I've read 1% of the book. That's not, that's nothing. I just started the book basically. So like I told you, at the end of the conference, I purchased a ticket to go again, but September is about to be so full because there's Women Evolve Conference, there's New York Fashion Week, there's LTK Con, excuse me, how are people supposed to do all of that? How are moms supposed to do that? Because I'm just like, wait, what? And school starts beginning of August, or middle of August. It's just like, what an inopportune time. But when is a good time? Who knows? How am I supposed to know? So that's coming up and I'm just like, wow. And then, uh, Essence 
crept up on me in a way and I don't feel prepared. I don't feel prepared at all. Okay, when I say I don't feel prepared, what it is is I had not given it thought. Okay, I just recently looked at the concert lineup last week and none of them really float my boat. I do want to go see Usher. I wanted to see Usher in Vegas around my birthday, but that didn't happen. So yeah, I want to see Usher. He's not going to, it's not going to be his own show, but that'll be cool. The Friday night show, I'm... Sunday has SWB and Janet Jackson. <laughs> like, okay. But it doesn't really, it, it's, it's not floating my boat or finding my lost remote. You feel me? This time I'll be there the whole time. The first time I went to Essence, comment below if you've been to Essence. First time I went to Essence was 2019. And it was a girl's trip and it was so fun. It was so freaking hot. And then COVID happened. We actually plan on going again the next year. COVID happened and now here we are. So now when I go to Essence, it's, it's for work. It's not for leisure. However, my work is leisure, which is great. And then I'm like, last year when I went, the 24 hours fell on a Sunday. And and I was leaving, I felt too early because although Sunday is the last day, there's some stuff that happens in the afternoon and the evening. So if your flight's at one or two, you're missing stuff. You feel me? So this time I was like, no, let me stay for the whole entire duration. So I'm leaving Monday, which is the, the thing is done by then. It just gives me a chance to go to everything if I want to, if stuff comes up, you feel me? So that's what's going on. But I don't, okay, like I was saying, I'm not prepared for Essence. It wasn't really on my mind. So now I'm like, what am I wearing? I do have to go to the mall and I'm just trusting that h and Zara will have a few things. I mean, you might think, oh, you shop all the time, you have stuff. Maybe, but like, maybe not. This is my thing. I have all these things on my to-do list and on my mind. And then I'm sitting here talking about, I need to read every day. And it's already 10 o'clock. Okay, so do I sit here and read a chapter when my mind is thinking about all these things I gotta do? I need to wash my hair. I wanna use the Fenty hair products and do a review. I need to film. I have so many things I need to film, you feel me? I need to go to the mall. Am I gonna go to the mall today or tomorrow? More than likely tomorrow because I would prefer to go to the mall in the morning and get it done with. I don't want, even though it's, it's a freaking Monday, I mean, it ain't gonna be crowded, but still. I like to get things done early in the morning, you feel me? I know that I need to work out and I'm gonna work out in the wellness too. I want to work out today. I'm talking to myself. I want to work out today. I'm in the groove of it. It's beneficial for my body. It makes me look good. I feel accomplished when I've done it, even though it makes me tired. I should, I'm talking to myself. I should work out because it's important and I've made a commitment to living a healthier lifestyle. I'm talking to myself. And it's it's a new day, it's a Monday, and I should do what I've said that I was going to do, you know? Again, talking to myself. Even though it's 10 o'clock and I also told myself that if I have not worked out by 10, I'm not gonna work out, so let me just not even, let me just take it off my list, you feel me? I should still do it because I have goals and I should keep my word to myself. Again, talking to myself here. And I've got emails and I have campaigns to look at and edit a little bit. Like, what? So I washed my hair today. I still used to do the, the review for Fenty Hair, but uh, there's a lot of things going on. Yo, this is actually a jumpsuit that I've had. Did I show you this yet? That I've had since I was in my 20s, maybe even teens. I don't know. I've had this for a long time. It's the pants. And it has really withstood the test of time. Granted, you have the... You know what I'm saying? The situations on the side when your arms have been rubbing back and forth on it. I've had this since before I moved to Houston. I packed this before coming to Houston. So I've had this over 14 years. Can you imagine? The thing about it though is it's big on me. <laughs> so I'd be having to keep pulling it up because it'd be sliding down. So I washed my hair, I dyed my hair, and I am slicking it down. I've slicked down my hair for the first time in three weeks and it feels really good to just have my hair off my neck. And I won't lie, you know how your your feet feel when you finish roller skating? Or do you ever feel that when your how your head feels when you take out your your hair? Well, it's been a while that I've had my hair in this long, you know that already. So my head just feels so bobbly and I won't lie, I'm enjoying just not having the hair on me. It wasn't heavy, but I mean, the hair was on my head. And I'm also enjoying letting my edges breathe a little bit. You know, I was trying my best to regrow my edges, honey, and then dyeing it. It looks so strange because you have hair and then some thinning and then hair. And then I dyed it, so it's just giving like what? But you know, I'd be filling in my edges anyway. You should see how much hair came out when I detangled my hair. Granted, I get it. You have all the knots from the, from the roots. Might have been a mix of some of the braiding hair but I just know that from not detangling my hair for three weeks, I had a lot of hair come out. Anyway, okay, so I'm here. The cleaning company is here cleaning. I still do it once a month, praise God. It's just a great thing. I keep my house tidy, but as far as cleaning it, cleaning it deep, I don't do deep cleaning. I will vacuum, I'll wipe things down, but everything else I'm not doing, you feel me? So I'm grateful they're here doing that. 
and I need to go to the mall today. <laughs> and I'm slicking down my hair, like I said. And I always like to pull it back because the, the front will dry faster because it's less dense. When it dries too much before with this back, it'll get stuck. The paper gets stuck. So if you do this routine with your slick backs, you know what I mean. It'll get stuck to the hair and I don't like that. So I do bring that back. But of course, because this hair is more dense, it's not dry right now. So I keep this on. Do you see the tonage? Stop. And I'm going to fill in my edges with my topic situation as usual. Laundry's going. I got my coffee. You feel me? Yeah, just so many things. I don't even know where to begin. I just slept in today because why not? Like, I don't do it enough. You feel me? So I just slept in today. And ooh, I need to go to the police station to file a police report for stolen packages. Like, it's just a lot. It's a lot of things. I gotta get my concert ticket. I need to find out who's going to Essence. It's gonna just be one of those last minute things. Yo, so I'm here at the mall, like I told you I was gonna, and I won't even lie to you, I feel so distracted. I'm sitting here looking at IG stories. I did my face today using the Tear Tear Foundation. I wear the shade 5, 51 Fudge, 51 N Fudge. And I freaking love it. I see why the girlies are all bent out of shape about this. And I also see why we were pissed off that our shit wasn't available in the beginning, but they did what they had to do and I love it. So I literally put another one of these in my cart on Amazon because yes, I need more than one. If I love something, I'm adding to cart right away and I'm gonna snatch it up because it is just that good. I love it. And then I sprayed on this Milani SPF sunscreen setting spray and I didn't know that it was gonna leave my face dewy. I like the way it looks. I, like I said, I just did not know. So I was like, what in the world? And I showed you the jumpsuit that I have had for a long time. And I have these sunglasses. Let me put them on, although, I mean, you know, they're more for style, you feel me? It's for the style, we're gonna wear them just because. Let's go inside and see what the store talking about. We say that this is nice interesting oh this mirror has a light stop this is so cute oh my god <laughs> this is so sweet i saw this and i loved it oh yes the content gonna eat all oh, the content gonna eat what let me see vanity lights oh how cute is that this is a sweet i did not realize that this was a sweet that is so cute this is the view uh, oh ain't no view that's why they closed it ain't no damn view oh my god ain't no view <laughs> ain't no view i mean at least there's sunlight Cute. I love it. I did not realize it was like a little living room. Oh, I'm staying here every time I come to New Orleans because the other hotels will look real raggedy. Oh, this is nice. Look at all of my stuff. Yo, three suitcases for five days. Why? Don't even ask me. I need what I need, you know? I just need what I need. So now I need to settle in because, yeah, let me open this because I just, I want the daylight. I don't need them having me in here like I'm in a closet. Oh, 
Okay, yo, so I settled in everywhere. And honestly and truly, I'm sleepy and I feel sick. I don't know what happened, but I've been on the toilet. And I that started before I even ate. I wanted to go to sleep because I'm like, I'm mad sleepy. I've been up since four, but then uh, Jolanda, she is with KG. I'll show you her. She's so sweet. I love her. <laughs> she says she's on her way to go see to, to, to the Killian pop-up, which I was planning on going to tomorrow, but I'm gonna go today because I don't wanna go by myself anyway. So I'm gonna go today and I'm gonna go be here right now. So the crazy thing about it is that my battery is dead. I got maybe 20% of my battery on my phone. First of all, and then my candle, you're not supposed to, oh my gosh, so you're, you're supposed to wait until your candle burns all the way to the end before you close it or turn it off because what will happen is it, it memorizes where it stops and then it's not going to burn anywhere past that, okay? That should have made sense to you. So what I'm saying basically is I shouldn't have put this candle on, but I didn't realize I was gonna leave the room so soon. So I'm ruining the candle. It's not gonna burn the way that it should burn, okay? So basically, don't burn your candles unless you have time and let it go all the way. Let it look like a whole puddle. Oop. Let it look like a whole puddle before you blow it out. Otherwise, you're just gonna you gonna ruin it. It's not gonna burn well. So I got my Amazon Loewe situation. My bag got all squished in the suitcase. Ugh, it looks all deformed. It's a good thing is I'm going to Ace Hotel and that is right around the corner for me. So let's go. Here we are, we just arrived to this house for the Fee Noel. It's so steamy, it's crazy. Look at my lens. Girl, ooh, I am so sick because I left my satin pillowcase at home. I normally have one in my suitcase, but it's not my suitcase. But let me just debrief you on today. I mean, it was a slow day, which it really needs to be because I'm usually the one doing too much on the day that I land wherever I go. And I've learned time and time again, since I forget, that that is not the best thing to do because I'm tired. My flight was at 9.45 this morning. I left home at 7.15. I got up at 4.30 and I was tired, but we had things to do, you feel me? But I only just went, I only went to one event. So the Fee Noel, no, we went to a Killian. Okay, so the Killian pop-up, they actually are doing it all weekend. And I was planning on going to that tomorrow, which is Friday. But then again, Jolanda was like, we're going now, meet me. So I met her there and that was cool. It's just a very informal thing. We went and sniffed a whole bunch of fragrances. i learned that Killian fragrances are very niche, which is to be expected, but I was like, huh, some of that, I just, I couldn't jive with some of them. but. 
I now know that I like Love Don't Be Shy. I smelled it years ago when people were saying that that was Rihanna's signature scent. And I didn't, I wasn't too crazy. Now I do recognize that my scent palette wasn't very sophisticated back then as it is right now. I didn't have nearly as many fragrances as I have now than I did at that time. So I just couldn't see what the big deal was. But today when I sniffed it, I was like, oh, I do like this. So they have an extreme and then they have just the regular Love Don't Be Shy, both of which are really good. And I got a sample of it. I got a travel size version of it and then I got other samples. So that was nice. And then we went to the Chloe Hotel, which was cool. It was where the Fee Noel event was happening. So in one room, they had a pop-up. You could purchase or try on different things. And then they had the pool party. The thing about it though is, by the time I had settled into the room, which took me a while, okay? Settling in took me a while. I have a lot of stuff. By the time I had settled into my room, and I was gonna change and everything. Then Jolanda was saying that she was on her way to go to the pool party. So I was like, dang it, let me go now. So I went in the outfit that I wore to the airport. I never got to put on my cover up and swimsuit and this and this and that and that. However, this pool, this hotel has a very nice pool. So I'm still gonna wear my outfit at some point because I think it's so cute. I wanna get content in it and I wanna go to a pool at least one day, maybe two days. Yeah, we were there, but I believe me, I was tired, I was sleepy. Some of the music was good. It, you could tell that it wasn't just the pool party people, it was residents of the hotel. So I was wondering what are all these guests doing here? And it was just obvious that it was guests. It was obvious that they weren't here for they, for the Fee Noel pop-up and pool party. It was just obvious. So I'm like, huh, okay, well at our hotel, you can't be crashing these kind of things. So yeah, it was cool. We ate I, I, the food, the veggies, I, no. I, I couldn't find what I wanted from the menu. And then when I ordered mixed veggies, it wasn't it wasn't delightful at all. So then I was I, I was in the Uber and the Uber was being nice. He's trying to get my information because he wanted me to hire him for the whole weekend, but his car wasn't big enough. I'm like, there's just no way. It's gonna be like a bunch of us and you need to, if you had a Suburban, oh deal. I'll take your number and then we can use you, but there's just no way and i was asking him where like where i can get some authentic new orleans food because i was hungry i after that egg and bacon from this morning i didn't eat until that bills broke down veggies and he mentioned this place called mondays and as we were coming here i saw it on doordash so i ordered it i ordered a cup of gumbo and then a caesar salad with shrimp by the time i got here my shrimp was all mid to cold and then the gumbo was almost lukewarm and it wasn't even amazing i don't know if it was temperature or what it just wasn't amazing and i'm like i need some real authentic food so i'm sure i'll find some of that at some point but yeah i was just like so lackluster anyway then i was here i was filming and getting filming myself getting unready for a short form and i'm so tired i was just transferring and downloading and all this stuff for my content and listening to worship music which always just gets me just so excited marie comes tomorrow so good i cannot wait i cannot wait for her to come it's gonna be a fun weekend i smell great i feel great and i'm going to bed good night good morning yo this place is so it's crazy because right in here where the bedroom is there's no window so I was thinking that it was still early in the morning and I kept sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. And then I'm like, nah, what time is it? And I checked my phone and right now it's eight something, almost nine. And I'm like, yo, that is crazy because there's no window and it's very dark in there. The bed is not as soft as, soft as I would like for it to be, <laughs> but it's all good. And then the robes they give are great because it's fleece lined. And then I intentionally turned the AC down to 71 because this is fleece lined. And you know that our body temperature drops when we sleep. I did not realize that. Cause sometimes I'd be like, why am I sweating on my neck when I sleep? Cause I'm too hot and I have these comforters and stuff. So I lower down the AC. That's a tip for you in case you don't realize that our bodies, our body temperature does drop in order for us to rest. It's part of the sleeping processes of the body. Anyway, sleeping was comfortable and except, for, I mean, the bed wasn't amazing, but whatever, it's fine. And here I am. So I wanted to go to the gym earlier today, but I also was up until 10 last night just what in the world i don't even know why and now i have a headache and if you saw my video then you know that i'm on some of the so if you if you don't already know about my surgery make sure you watch that playlist and then you'll, you'll see the surgery update it's a surgery one and a half year update and then i also talked about me being on some of the so the reason why i bring that up is because i have a headache and a lot of times in the mornings i wake up with a headache and it it's a very unique headache i know that it's from that it's not because i need coffee it's not because i 
just have a headache. It's, I can tell it feels a certain way. Well, what do I do? I have a sick medicine. I mean, sometimes I'll try and see how long I can go. And then, cause sometimes with headaches it'll go away, but usually I'm just like, hell no, I'm not dealing with this. Let me just take some medicine. So I'm going to do that today because what the hell? And it is a side effect. Does it deter me? Absolutely not. I'm going to still take it because it works and it's doing me wonders. What in the world? So yeah, I'm going to go to the gym because I want to work out. And then I, I last night I was looking up coffee shops that I can walk to. So I'm going to go do that and get coffee. Although there is a breakfast place downstairs, but I just feel like I want to try something new. So then I'll go to a coffee shop and then come back and then get ready. The event that I know for sure, for sure I'm going to is in the evening. It's at five and it's a dinner. However, there are things during the day that I want to go to. And the first one starts at 1.30. So it's like a coin toss you feel me like what am i doing and when either way i just want to make sure that i work out and go get my coffee that's a must that's a i must i must i must increase my bus tell me that book so let's get ready Know, all this work out you're probably like wait why all this this is what I do in the morning I don't wash my face I just rinse my eyes because my face is usually dry from when I wake up so I do my skincare routine then I'm gonna I'm gonna shower actually neck down I just want to get my face hydrated because it's dry and the longer I wait it's so uncomfortable and then I'm gonna shower from the neck down go work out and then I'm gonna shower wash my hair do my whole skincare routine all over again and if you're wondering no it's not tedious for me I enjoy what I do I love what I do I love it. And the skin, the skin don't lie. When I'm not breaking out with rosacea, the skin don't lie. And the hairline looks like this because if you don't already know, I filled my hairline in. And last night when I washed my face, you know, you wash it in a circle. So it leaves this line from the filler. But I'm gonna wash my hair and do it all over again. You'll see, you know, this is a whole thing. I'm gonna use the Glow Recipe, the new joint, the Watermelon Dew Balm SPF 45 with niacinamide. This is confusing because it goes moisturizer and then SPF. But this, is a niacinamide dew bomb. So this is supposed to be used as the moisturizer. That's what I'm guessing because you shouldn't go and put a moisturizer on top of this because first of all, the, the consistency of it is thick in a good way. And then secondly, this is your SPF. So you don't put anything except makeup on top of your SPF. That is the absolute last step of your routine. With what I did, being that I didn't even wash my face, this should suffice, it really should. Now the circle is small, so I'm making sure that I don't have any skip areas. You don't want to miss any areas. I'm going to shower again, so I'm avoiding the neck right now. You want to avoid any skip areas. You really could, after you put this in, rub it in, but I don't really feel like doing that. I like the ease of, oh, I'm using the stick. So I'm using the stick. I'm not going to go in and rub my face. Now it does leave the face dewy, you know? It does leave the face dewy. You like a dewy look? This is for you. It feels like a chapstick on the face. You get it? Not in a terrible way, but in a way where, okay, because I have some peach fuzz, some vellus, not vellus, is it vellus hair? <laughs> my words are escaping me this morning on my face. So it just, it just felt like I just needed to just do that. Even this, I still feel it on my face. But that's okay. why I shower often, as often as I do. So I just showered and in the shower, I use this Inky List Clarify, what is it? You've seen it before. It's a basically a clarifying soap or facial cleanser, but you know that I use my facial stuff on my body as well because it's all skin, right? So I use it on my armpits, my groin, you know what I'm saying, the whole nine yards. I always tell you that, right? Now, when I got out of the shower and I was getting ready to lotion up, I was like, mm, I smell something. It's a little tinge, you feel what I'm saying? So I went like this and even though I just, even though I just showered, there's a little tinge going on, right? So this is why I always do some sort of wipe also. Now, I have to play by ear and see how my body is responding because I've done this wipe or just any kind of 
exfoliating wipe on my armpits and I did it too much, like too many days in a row. Maybe I was doing it twice a day, I don't know what I was doing. And it started to get irritated and it started to burn, okay? So the skin on the armpit is sensitive enough where you don't wanna to do too much of this. However, you wanna get a product that has either AHA or BHA in it. It can be a spray, it can be a cream, it can be a wipe. And in this case, these are the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. Again, it's for the face, but I use my facial stuff on my body because it's all skin. And I'm gonna take one of these pads, it's pre-moistened, and I have not put on any deodorant yet. It's pre-moistened and I'm wiping it around the armpits. Not only is this going to cancel out bacteria, you can use an eczema pad, anything that has AHA, and or BHA in it. It's gonna cancel out the bacteria. It's also gonna lighten up darkness on anywhere of the body, okay? It's gonna even out the skin tone. That's why it says that it's resurfacing and then it also smooths out the skin. What's resurfacing about this is the ingredient, the active ingredient that's in it, okay? So when I say AHA, BHA, I'm talking about glycolic acid, that's an AHA, salicylic acid, that's a BHA. Have you ever seen any of those products? Those are the kind of things you wanna put on the body, head to toe, if you, not scalp, but you know what I'm saying, face to toe, if you have any dark spots, rough skin, okay? So I just did that. So this is where the double whammy comes in, right? I do that to cancel out the bacteria. Then I put a deodorant on, and the one I have with me is this Lumi one. We all know that Lumi don't smell good, honey. Even though it has these scents, these don't smell good, okay? They have a certain law to them. <laughs> And perhaps that's the active ingredient, okay? So we just gonna go with it. I'm not looking for my Lumi to make my whole body smell good. I'm looking for my Lumi to make sure I don't have any BO. You feel me? So it's a two-step process, right? And it's a cream, we're gonna rub this in. And the nice thing about Lumi is it can go anywhere on our body, you feel me? Anyway, you have closed down rolls, anything, crevices, <laughs> you can put it there, okay? I value smelling good at all times, hence why I do such a routine. This is a body oil from Brown Sugar Babe. It's called Obsidian Rain. The oil messed it up. So strong. I don't recall what this one is inspired by, but some of these are inspired by our favorite fragrances. So if you don't have that, go ahead and get you an oil, honey. You're going to smell just like it. Just like it, you know? We're going to get that glow. We're going to get that scent. Listen, when I walk by, when I walk anywhere, when I leave anywhere, if I have not brought with me or left my scent, I've done something wrong. And I actually messed up my timeline. I want to, I usually drink coffee before I work out. It settles my tummy. I like it. It's just a thing that I do. So I should just get coffee downstairs instead of walking to this place and then coming back. You feel me? Oh yes, squirt. Hi. Hi, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm doing it. And Dan, I really, really could stop right there, but why would I? Why? Give me a reason why. Thought so, there is no reason. So let's put a fragrance on top. I'm just, I'm not going by what matches what, I'm just spraying. I'm just gonna pick whatever, my dear, dear. This is Flower Bomb, Victor and Roth. I have maybe five. Ooh, Killian gave me love, don't be shy, hold on. And other samples as well, let's do that. Let's try that out right now. They gave me love, don't be shy, a tra travel version. Oh, they gave me a whole bunch of samples. Let's see what they gave me. Hmm. Let's do one of those today. Good girl gone bad. Wait, is that the one I, I get confused with good girl gone bad and love, don't be shy. It's too confusing. Oh, Angel Share, I have it at home. Black Phantom, smoking hot. Yes, marshmallow. This is the one I like. I remember it had marshmallow in it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I like the marshmallow. Okay, we're gonna do a little, don't be shy. Mm -hmm. Get the skin and the, and the clothing, cause this is really gonna adhere. Wow, this is strong, it's lovely. It's really gonna adhere to the skin because it's freshly moisturized, so it's still damp. You feel me? Not dry. You gonna spray on dry skin? Where's it gonna go? My dad's here. You need the skin to still be damp. So freshly moisturized, dang, you wanna spray your, not the sample done already. <laughs> That was literally a one-time one time sample. Okay, well then they did give me the travel version, so that's cute. Thank you so much, Killian, love it. I already smell amazing. Yo, when I'm walking the hallway, girl, not only is the body tea, the scent is tea, everything is, everything is, ugh, girl, what do you have on? Oh yeah, this time my hopes are up Cause you got my heart in your
dressed and ready to go. These pants are Amazon. The shoes are also Amazon. I wanted to wear these flats, but like flat sandals, but that wasn't gonna work because these pants are a lot longer than I thought they were gonna be. The pants are 12, I believe, and they're very relaxed, loose, which I've been into these days. Look at me, I almost fell. I've been into the, that this, these days. I thought this lighter moved better, but uh, anyway. And then the vest or the, yeah, the vest is from Urban Revival. I know you've been seeing it, so I had to get it. And I can't I can't recall what size it is. The, the paper didn't show me. When I take it off, I don't know what size it is, but I feel like it's a medium or a 10 or something. I have no clue. And the hair is slicked back, which is my usual. First is gonna be the white chin up. In the car now on the way to this creator dinner happening at Canaan Table. And oh, just nothing. Just casually walking outside of the hotel and Tank is walking in with all of his people. Can you imagine Tank? Huge, handsome Tank. I knew it. I just knew that at that hotel they were going to have some some serious people staying. Because it's a very nice place and it just, it just gives off that vibe. I was like, I just stood very casually. So my thing is I'm not going to make celebs feel irritated and uncomfortable but you know i'm also a celeb you know to myself so i just didn't even say anything but can you imagine that is so interesting i knew something was going on because of all of the people that were standing outside and just around i just felt like something was about to happen and then it, the big suburban pulled up and then he got out with some food and a lady and all these it wasn't a lot of people but it was enough where it was like oh what's going on here so yeah i'm headed to the event right now i was gonna put on my lower face sunglasses but i didn't because i thought it was cloudy and now there's sun so I, and then i want the makeup to show you know what i'm saying i be feeling like the makeup gets hidden behind sunglasses so whatever i didn't do that but i love this look i have to keep on holding it so that it doesn't go over and i'm looking forward to it to this event Island. 
yes, there are black people in Rhode Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very few. Yeah, very few. And if you don't know, we pop the car. Yeah. 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 Marie is here, but she's not in the room, so she must be downstairs. I'm gonna just freshen up my fragrance because everyone loves it and I love it. And then I'm gonna go down to the lobby and look for her because there's no way she left this hotel. She's definitely downstairs, so let's go. Marie, how does it feel to be outside? It feels so good to be outside. You I ready? Love outside. What are you ready to do this evening? I'm ready to party. What? Party. Party. <laughs> With your dinner? Are you gonna bring your dinner? The food is exciting. I'm so the told that this is, is exciting. The outdoor air. The firing is exciting. Where them kids at? The lighting in the room is exciting. It is. Oh. <laughs> Hello. I'm here to get some, something to drink. This girl is thirsty. All right, we made it. That wasn't too bad. What, 11 minute walk? We got a Gatorade. How was the walk, Marie? Hey, you're the same one that wanted to walk on the way there. Why now this face? Because the feet, I told you to wear sneakers. You didn't want to listen. You didn't want to listen with a T, listen. Yeah, this is my real life. Last night was so freaking fun. It was just, it was just too fun. It was just too fun. The mamas are outside and we need to be, okay? Too much fun and I slept four hours. I'm so tired, but I'm, I, I made a commitment. So I did a workout just now. I went downstairs to get a coffee and then I was <laughs> uploading stuff and I drank my coffee, went to the gym. Now I'm going back for us to get ready because wow. Yeah, just wow. <laughs>
Alright, we just left the Her Story brunch, which was cool, and now we're walking four this, minutes to in another this event. New in this New Orleans streets, in this humidity. The thing is, is, a lot of stuff is overlaying, overlapping, so hmm, we are doing what we can do. Adios, yeah. We were very late for this one, but we'll see what we... It's so steamy out here. Ooh. Okay, these slants, let me not fall down. I cannot. The ground is slanted, like what? Hi. You gotta get the walk. I tell you. Mm. I didn't catch it. No. These are actually yeah. comfy. These are how fluffy are their kidneys? All right, here's Canal. It's wicked busy. <laughs> See, look, they're gonna be trying to give us something. All right, let's go. Look at this one. It is crazy busy. Whoa, it's so hot. What is going on around here? Should we cross? Let's cross. There's traffic. Woo. All right, here we are at the Ritz. It was a quick walk. Mixer. Ah, like your people. Look at this. Look at this, mama. Hey. Y'all know this rotten. I hate the way you're saying it. Why are you saying it like that? Because it's rotten. It's rotten.
Okay, so we're on we're our way to find Marie. Marie. She's talking about enjoyment. We don't know what the enjoyment is. We're going to bourbon we're now. We're looking for it now. Uh huh. So we're now we're headed to the bourbon. bourbon. It's mad hot. Mad people. Oh, it's so hot outside. There's a little Everything bit of breeze. Sweats. We need more. Everything Literally. is sweating. Everything is sweating. Everything. Everything needs to go in the trash. Sweat. <laughs> Everything needs to go in the trash. Like, legs slapping. Slapping. <laughs> slapping at someone. We just saw someone doing a headstand. Yes. On the concrete floor. What happened on a headstand? Shaking her behind. She was saying, why do we wear kitten heels at a concert? And thank Wait, God she didn't. Look, she, she gave me flats. Thank God she didn't because if she did, yeah, forget, forget about Forget about Yeah, forget about We would be where? In a room. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be crawling like you your knees. You would never find the dreamers. Hi, yeah. guys. Hi. So we're heading and getting here very well. Okay, good. We're out at Essence Fest. Yes. Hello. Oh my gosh. When influencers and beauty founders meet. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. It's always a good time. Yes. Mona Lisa, y'all. I'm going to tag you in the video. Yes. Thank okay. you. Yes. 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 Look at how this lady's getting out of the damn Uber. I'm talking about she wants to go to Bourbon Street and look where we are and look what she's doing. Look at her behaviors. We'll find out. It's mad late. We're tired. Marie wants to go to Bourbon. Look at her. Look at her. This is the Bourbon Street. Wake the hell up. It's down. We got to keep on walking. It's humid, hot nonsense. Look at her. Yo, getting the floor seats was also hectic and crazy, which was fun. Two nights in a row, your girl's been blessed, both of us, to be on the floor. Incredible. And so yesterday was crazy because the concert ended earlier than we expected because the Birmingham one ended at around 2 o'clock. So why did Usher end at 12? Are you, are you okay? Granted, he wasn't a headliner, but still, we were like, wow, this is already over. And then we were running and rushing to get there, so we were there maybe 45 minutes. It wasn't in a long time. However... We still had a blast, and then the walk in, and then the bourbon. You know, it was a late night, so we're up a little bit late today. It's what 12 something. We're going to this Black Excellence event, then there's a Disney luncheon, and then we'll see what the night entails. We were gonna go home today because of the hurricane, but we're gonna stay the whole thing out and go home tomorrow because what are we here for? You know what I'm saying? So it's day what, four now. I've been here for four now, day three for Marie, and she's still hanging on tight. Y'all should be so proud of her. Barely. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Oh my gosh. And then this outfit is from Mika's. It's very old and it the skirt is so short. I'm 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 not happy with it, but I gotta do what I gotta do. There's an all white event and I don't have another all white except this white shirt, so it'll suffice. <laughs> Here we are at the Disney event.
to the Disney event, which was so nice. I've just been here I'm, and then I was doing some work and then I said, wait a minute, I'm actually hungry again. Let me order something. So I just did. And yesterday, or two days ago, I don't even know what day it was. Marie had this burger and I just ate the meat and then I ate her fries. I'm not, my mouth is watering. Oh my God, I'm just hungry. And when I'm so hungry, I'm just like, screw keto, yo. So I'm just enjoying. I'm going to just ride. Oh, hold on. I hear they have been years before I go home. Um, I got to figure that out because I go home tomorrow. Can you imagine? I have not had any, they have been these at the KG mixer, but I didn't want to get all over my mouth, hello? So I didn't eat it, the hell? It's a messy meal, a messy snack, so I gotta find that. I'm gonna eat this burger and fries. No bun though. My bread will just be the fries, the carbs. They season these fries so well. They're actually over seasoned, but I like it. <sighs> all right, Marie is gone, and it's just me. I'm walking to the, dome by myself but the good thing is there are a lot of walkers and it's not scary because there are a lot of walkers and when the concert is over there are a lot of people walking so i've done it tw two nights in a row i know it's not gonna be a scary thing for me i'm meeting jolanda and some other creators there so i'll be all good but usually i would not want to do this walk on my own you're crazy but there are a lot of people around and it's still daylight right now i did not realize the concert because at seven i don't know what's going on because i wasn't planning on going to it but thankfully i've gotten tickets every single night but yo bro not row, front, no, not front, whatever. Floor seats every night, and I'm just showing up, so, you know, here I am. So here's Poitras, and the guy said take a left. This looks different from yesterday, but well, the two days, the last two nights, but of course, it's been busy, and it's been dark, so it's hard to know what the hell's going on. Oh, yes, I recall this eating place right here. So yeah, this is the way. I'm almost there. It's muggy, so it just feels like, ugh, my armpits are a little bit moist. What can you do? They're gonna be moist. I got a fan, but I'm walking. I ain't got time to be fan my armpits while walking. I'm almost there. It wasn't bad. It's maybe five blocks, but it's a good workout. Hi. Just walk right in, because all I have is this in my phone. Thank you. Hi, how you doing? Great, how about you? Alrighty, here we go again, day three. So early, it's empty. This is so crazy. Make some noise for my boy, Josh Levi. But it seems like I'm on the street. Let me make you feel okay. Yes, you can. These sisters have voices. These sisters have voices.
center circulation pulls north. However, two o'clock this afternoon, rain becomes a lot more intermittent. I think the winds will start to die down, but it's not completely over. You know, where these feeder bands set up this afternoon may continue a little further east or west. So we're going to continue to watch Bureau move out of here. Probably Yo, good morning. What a day. What a day. What a weekend. What everything. My voice sounds like this because not only am I sneezing, I feel I, I'm I'm sick of some sort. I don't know what. I have medicine, thankfully. You know me. I pack everything, right? So I'm sick. And then also, as you heard, I, so I, I don't know if I told you, but I wanted to go home. We wanted to go. Okay, so Maria and I were like, instead of going home on Monday, let's go home on Sunday to avoid the storm, to avoid being stuck here. And I was like, okay. So we, well, I'm thinking because I'm trying to do the other timeline. So I said, okay, let's do Sundays. We rebooked for Sunday and our flight was at 715. And we're going through Sunday and I'm like, yo, man, I really don't like all this rush i really want to stay another another night on monday because that was the point of me staying here till monday so i'm not rushed on sunday but when i changed my flight she hadn't changed hers when we tried to change hers she couldn't there was some complications so she ended up going home on sunday which was yesterday so i went to the concert as you saw and it was really fun i was tired though it was freezing in there it was so cold but it was really great <laughs> it was really really good SW, swv was fantastic janet jackson i was gonna leave i forgot that she was even gonna come i was about to leave and i was like oh my god janet jackson so you know that was good and then jolanda was in the vip section i was in the other area on my own but then i met a family friend who was there but then i went back to my section i was there on my own and i realized i can go to a concert on my own i was really fine and the nice thing is that there are a lot of people walking around outside so i didn't feel I didn't feel scared walking on my own, you know, to go. On the way back, I did take one of those bike ride people, which was cool, which just shortened my walk. I could have walked, but I was like, screw that. I'll do the bike ride. And I found a guy. The first guy was like, $50. I was like, no. He's like, I need 40 I said, no, no, no. I kept walking. I found somebody else. He said 20 I said, bet. So I got in the bike ride thing. Whatever you call that. And then I came back. Okay. And I went to bed around 12, which was, no, no, wait. I don't know. I, I It wasn't 3 o'clock. So at least that was a good thing. I was feeling like, you know what? Do I want to be stuck at the New Orleans airport and then have to find a hotel last minute and have to re uh, like unpack and do all this and deal with, do I have my luggage, do I not? Or do I want to just stay here where I know I already have my stuff, I'm already settled in, and I can just go home tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So I've been looking at everything and I see this power out, the power's out of my home at home. And a lot of people have power outages, a million something people. I said, screw that. I'm not going to deal with this 7 p.m. flight and then there's issues. So I called the front desk and they do, they can let me, whatever, they have availability, okay? And I'm staying. And actually, the other day, they had messaged me and said if I wanted to extend my stay from, they sent out a mask or some kind of message, I have a gas. And I had gotten it. And it was like, if you want to extend your stay from Sunday to Monday, the rate is 119, let us know. And I'm like, what? I'm already here till Monday. Was this an accident? So I went to the front desk and I said, uh, is there an issue? Do you have me down till Monday? That's my original my original itinerary. And then they were like, yeah. I said, well, I got this message. What's that about? And the lady was like, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have gotten it. Yes, we have down till Monday. I said, okay. So I knew that rate in my mind. So today when I'm like, I'm going to rebook or uh, extend, I want the 119 rate. So I called, I said, I got a message. There's a there's a hurricane in, in Houston. Can I rate, can I extend and can I get the 119 that I got in that message? And the lady said, let me put you on a brief hold. She came back and sure enough, my extra has 119. I said, glory to God. It all worked out. So I got that message for a reason because look at what's been going on. It's crazy because I don't want to even get home and then I have no power and then I'm looking for a hotel in Houston. You feel me? It's just too much work. It's just what? And then what? Wow, the flooding, the power out, power outages, dumpster. It's just crazy. So I'm gonna stay, and thankfully, you know me, I always have extra stuff and clothing, so I have that. I'm just thinking, damn, well, my 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 contemporary stew in the in the freezer. I'm gonna have to throw it away if the power does not come back on in a decent time. Can you imagine? That's what I'm thinking about. Anyway, I I just I'm not even gonna worry about that. I just give God all the glory that I am somewhere and I am safe and I, I can go home tomorrow and it'll all be good. Wow. Okay. Let's get ready for the day. I have a lot of work to do, which will keep me busy. I still have not gotten my beignet. So I, I look forward to finding that today. I'll just go to the place Cafe Du Monde today. And I want to work out, but I'm tired. But I should just get it done this morning. Because if I don't get it done this morning, it's going to be hard to do it later on. I want to go downstairs and get a coffee. You know, the usual stuff. But I'm awake now. I'm up. I need medicine. I need a lot of things. Let's just do all those things. O'clock this morning, everywhere was green. And now, look at these front pages. They're all populating with that moderate to the potential of flooding. So this is going to become pretty serious.
all across the area. I'm taking you to Buttermilk Creek near Spring Shadows. This is also, uh, often an area that we can see water come out of its banks, which is the case. Spring Branch Creek, this is an area that's usually a concern, and that's the case right now. Keegan's Bayou, same thing across this entire area. Southwest Harris to Fort Bend County, notice near Sugarland, we are pretty much seeing water spread everywhere at this point because of the amount of rain that we're picking up. So as far as the coastal impacts, now between noon, so it's almost 9 a.m. this morning, it's the storm surge and the wind. Some of those wave height and storm surge could have been up to about seven feet, so you need to seek higher ground. Now, as far as the impacts inland, notice how I've extended the timeline through two o'clock this afternoon. Remember, as Vero is moving northward, the time is going to be tracking a little bit later. The main primary threats flooding and of course the wind. We're still tracking tropical storm and hurricane force winds. So you wanna keep all your devices if you can charge them. I know, you know, with nearly two million people without power, this is going to become, you know, a widespread serious event, even as barrel shifts. And it's gonna be an extensive times power outages. All right, 1030 this morning, notice a bulk of the energy Okay, I'm back in the hotel room. I changed, I'll explain in a second. This is the Amazon Loewe dupe bag. These pants are H&M, top is H&M. This is a small, pants are 12. And then these are the, I showed you, right? This is the coach sandals that I bought to actually wear at the pool, but I feel like it can be worn outside too. They're very comfortable on their platform. And I put this on because the pants are so long. I didn't want the pants to be dragging on the floor. You feel me? So let's go. I just closed my door and realized I didn't get a key. So I'll have to get a key when I come back. Oh, God. All right, Jolanda's still here because her flight is delayed, or no, got changed. And obviously mine has changed until tomorrow. It's still Monday. And power outages at home, curfews, stay off the road, all kind of stuff going on. So there's that. I was downstairs earlier today, and I went to go to the gym. Never even made it around to it. <laughs> so anyway, right now, I'm going to go meet her. They're eating lunch and I'm sure they're grabbing drinks. I had a salad already, but it doesn't hurt to have something else small and just obviously drink. And I feel cute and casual. Pants are so baggy on me. I'm getting used to the baggy look. It feels like it feels like it's wrong, like something is wrong, like it doesn't fit me, but it does fit me. So I believe this is the direction I have to go in. Not the front desk man, not knowing with where Julia Street is. Don't you live here? What's going on? We are guests. We don't know this place is green. I had the map, but I didn't know if I had to go left or right. But I feel like it's this way because it's opposite of Poitras. Poitras is the street that I was walking on to go to the concert. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. Very windy. I cannot believe. Look at me walking around by myself in New Orleans. This is insane. Feels good though. Like I don't, I don't feel unsafe. So that's a nice thing. Let's find this street. I tell you what, you coming back this way? Yeah. This is where I sleep. Here? Right in here. Okay. Oh. Actually, hold on. Wait a minute. I, I started a little job. I have cash. Hang on, actually. I don't, it's not uh, coins, but I have. I just started a little job. Dang, that's crazy. This homeless guy just, he, I don't know if you can hear me, but he asked me for change, and I don't have coins. And then I was like, wait a minute, I have bills. And I know how sometimes we feel like, Oh, what are they gonna do with the money? Let's not give it to them. But it's so hard for me because how do I know what you're gonna do? And he's saying he just started a new job and uh, he doesn't wanna steal. He doesn't wanna go to jail, which I can understand like what, you know? Maybe some feel like, well, if I go to jail, at least I have a roof, but some of these jails are dangerous. Is this Julia? Oh, it is, perfect. Some of these jails are dangerous. So I give him money and, oh Lord, man. Oh Jesus, it's just too much. Alrighty, Maro is supposed to be down here somewhere. I did not take into account road construction. Good love. Oh my God, all the dirt.
<laughs> what you say? What you say? I said this is advertising for my house. Cause Gracie is what? Gracie is not about to get wet. Hello. Oh, here's the traverse. Not a, we didn't come here to be get a wash day in the street. The water is not gonna get in the way. Not you getting an environmental wash day in the street. Yes. <laughs> I cannot bless the Lord of all times. His blood, His praise be continually in your mouth. <laughs> Let his worship be on your tongue. Yeah, because his lighting is really good for you. <laughs> it was really good. I mean, busy as always, as you already know, and just chaotic, but really fun meeting a lot of creators, going to events. Yesterday was so much fun with Jolanda. I'm so glad I'm not here alone. And her flight was, what, canceled something or other, diverted, whatever. So she's here and we were at Morrow's Steak for a long time. We were there for four hours, which is crazy. We didn't realize we were just talking, 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 just sharing notes, just having a good freaking time. And those drinks were so delicious. They were strong, but not very strong. There's no way I would have, on, under normal circumstances, been able to ingest three of those dragon fruit lemon drop martinis, but I was able to. <laughs> They were very, very sweet. And even today I'm like, oh, I need to ugh, just purge of all this sweetness. I'm transferring files from my phone to my computer because I need to organize things like this vlog right here. And just in general, there's so much content. It makes me nauseous. I mean, I don't know how other creators manage to be posting so quickly after things like the day of the stuff and all that. I just need to sit and enjoy the actual day and breathe so i am two days behind but you know the content will be the content it's going to be what it's going to be and it's going to be great and i'm gonna get it up when i get it up you feel me but there is of course that pressure because you're like now it's happening now so you want to give the people the content now is it going to be too late later you feel me whenever i'm traveling i make a running list of what i need to replenish or place into my suitcase next time and one of those is a knockabout dress <laughs> so i don't know if you say it the same way but a knockabout dress is just something i can throw on for instance to go downstairs to get my coffee you feel me and i have this really nice i'm gonna call it a boo boo but uh just okay kaftan mm -hmm. move in front of kaftan you would say it's a kaftan and i got it actually because jolanda had posted it because she wore it in bali and I was gonna bring it and I was thinking, what am I gonna wear that to? I'm not gonna wear it outside. But it didn't dawn on me to bring it as a knockabout to wear here if I need to go downstairs, for instance, to get a coffee. So I just made a list of things that I'm gonna replenish when I get home, one of which is my Fendi, what do you call it? A shawl. <laughs> my Fendi shawl because I be mad cold in the airport and on a plane and I just keep on thinking, oh, I'll be fine. No, I'm not, I'm not fine. So I put that down. I'm going to add in another brown sugar bay body oil. Right now I have an obsidian rain. Oh my God. It's so strong, so freaking good. I also have level 13 and creme de la creme, but I'm gonna put another one in my bag as an option. And then I'm gonna put a sweater and sweatpants because again, I've been feeling cold in this building and I'm thinking if I'm just knocking about, just chilling, not going anywhere, I can put on a sweater and sweatpants, right? It's not everything tight. Isn't it? And you be tight, You want things to be a little bit spacious, okay? I gotta replenish my tongue scrapers. Oh, my satin pillowcase, I found it. I just didn't know where it was. So I haven't been using that, shame on me. I didn't know where it was. It was in the, the zipper part of my suitcase. So I did I did find that. And then my Chanel sunglasses, the black ones, because sometimes you want it to be blacked out, you feel me? And I have my knockabout dress, so we'll do all that. When I get home, I always look at this. Or when I'm packing for another trip, I always look at my packing list. It's just a running list. That's how I stay organized, you feel me? You gotta be organized. Mm -hmm. So I already showered and washed my hair, laying it down right now while I was on my call. I've learned that with the Topic Hair Filler, to do that after the makeup is done. Because when I'm doing my hairline, my, my contour, the perimeter of my face, it ends up taking away some of the product. And I've been loving doing the Topic afterward. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's on my LTK and I've done it. I've shared videos on, on short form too. I love it to fill in the hairline because hello, my hairline is sparse and that's okay because that's life. You feel what I'm saying? A little bit of alopecia. Okay, let's go do that. Gotta get ready.
was down at the lounge a little bit, but now Jolanda is here. She's literally going through TSA right now. And we're going to go to her Amex club situation and drink their drinks. <laughs> Let's go see what they got over there. Okay. It was meant to be. We have to get it. Ooh. You're on the plane? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a must. Oh my god, my mouth is roaring right now. This man does not sound like that. You messed up my video, sir. Imagine. Imagine. Alright. Mmm. Come here, you. It's so messy, you guys, you know. You got the good angle? Mm -hmm. Listen, she wanted a beignet for the last order days. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the time? That's what I'm saying, here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's it's, it's like a bougie, uh, uh, it's okay. Hello? It's definitely given. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, roll, roll around, crispy mm -hmm. stuff. I'm mm -hmm. breaking it into pieces because that just, I'm a lady. It's the popping now. <laughs> you a lady. I'm not even popping. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. these look like real fresh. Let me shake the cut a little bit. Did I see the inside? Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, and they're warm. Yes. Why my mouth water? Let me swallow the saliva. Oh my goodness. It's warm and tender. Mm-hmm. Tender. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's about to really good. Wow. <laughs> you know when you go to Chick Fil A, when you get the extra sauce, it's quite tasty. But I just did it. You want to dip it in that sauce? You want to dip it in that sauce? Like the sauce, the, the pepper. The sauce. I mean, I said pepper. Mm -hmm. I mean sugar. I said that. Oh, it's always so good. So good. This is just the way I remember it being. Just delightful. I'm so sorry. I don't know if y'all want to be bothered or not. We do want to be bothered. Oh, no. We do. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What's your name? My name is Erica Cooper. Yeah. I'm going to be an influencer soon. I know that's right. You better say that. These nails. You already are. What do you mean? I'm sorry. You better walk into it. Let them well, girl. So, my first thing is saying that I am a mother. So, that may be my niche. I may teach moms how to keep an organized schedule. Ooh, well, come on now. Can you do that for the I can't. I really can't. And the kids are rolling up there for real. Jesus, 
Oh, yours is a kingdom, yours. Oh, is a power, yours is a glory forever. Amen. Oh, yours is a kingdom, yours is a power, yours is a glory forever. Amen. Listen. We gotta worship the Lord Jesus, okay? Because that's one thing I'ma always do. Oop, you all zoomed in. I'ma always give God all the glory. Where's my tripod? Okay, I'm gonna, anyway, I'm back home. Praise Jehovah, I made it. I don't see any high water, but I do know that there is high water around. Thankfully, I don't, it's not in my area. My power was off, but I just had to go to the breaker box, you feel me? And then just do a little reset, a little clink, 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 clink. And we back in action, you feel me? And I'm about to, get ready for bed there was delays because of lightning in new orleans i almost thought i wasn't going to come home but thankfully god made a way and here we are and worship just makes me so happy so praise god no miracles every day your testimony say no testimonies ever so let god's praise i receive every day oh i know jesus is taking care of me he's taking care of me jesus is taking care of me oh oh jesus is looking after me yes jesus is taking care of me i'm shining because jesus is taking care of me I'm here to testify. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, oh, Jesus is looking after me. He's watching over me. Hey, watching over me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. No miracles every day. Your testimonies say, no testimonies everywhere. I lost my voice a little bit from all the party party time. <laughs> but we still got to give God the glory. Let God's praise I receive every day. Oh, I know Jesus is taking care of me. He's taking care of me. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, oh. Jesus is looking after me. He's watching over me. Hey, watching over me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. Let's get the mood. I'm resetting my mood. You know I do the YouTube situation. You know, vibe place. Get a little vibe. And then I play music on this speaker, which is off right now because I was brushing it. Oh, my God. 